Isabel from Made by Marley. Welcome back to our channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the IOD Indigo Florals in a way that you know maybe you thought you haven't really thought of. So we're going to be um, I'm going to be showing you how to apply them, how to take them off and how to paint them to create a, a really bohemian style finish. So let's get on and um, I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to be using the indigo florals inlays. Now before you use your inlays there's a small area around the edge that you have to cut off. This is the part that um, you cut to match if you're doing matching sections but you just remember to cut that off. It doesn't matter so much for what I'm going to be doing because obviously I'm doing a, a very bohemian effect and how I got this was I got I painted my piece navy first and then I applied um, yellow paint with an IOD um, blade to give it this effect. I was looking for all this dark. Now, to apply the inlays, what I've already done is, and it's easy to do, if you take a big sheet, you can cut them to size. So I've cut mine with, so that I can still see that dark edge when I apply my paint. So I've cut my three sections for my three panels. And all you do is, to apply your paint, now you want it thick, but you don't want it too thick. Um, so what I do first is I kind of put it on and then I kind of smooth it all out so that, um, and how I apply it is with a nice smooth brush. I don't use a, a kind of textured chalk paint brush just a nice smooth brush. Now the inlays are incredibly easy. They're really easy to apply. Really easy. There's no, there's no mystery in it. It's just you follow the instructions but the first thing you do is you apply a nice layer of paint just like that making sure that it's nice and smooth and you've applied plenty of paint. You could do it a little bit more down this corner. You get your inlay and I think I want this flower kind of going this way and you apply it, smooth it out, making sure there's no wrinkles like that. And then the way I find works best for me is a, a, a wet cloth, a wet cloth and I dab like that until you can see that your paper's no longer opaque and it's bright. You can see it cut, change in colour when you use it. Um, this is the way that I feel works best for me and it gives me foolproof results. So I'm just going to do the next one quickly just so you can see it happening again. So paint a nice liberal coat, not too much. You're just working, first of all, getting your paint onto your, your surface. Now I'm working on smoothing it out. Now, because I'm going for a sort of distressed bohemian look, I'm looking for these dark edges, but if you're painting right to your edges, just paint right to your edges. Smooth it out. Grab your inlay. Position your inlay. And smooth it out. Making sure that it's all adhered. Now, because I've gone for this distressed kind of bohemian look, there's pieces here that it, there isn't is nothing connecting it. I'm not bothered about that. That's okay. And then get your damp cloth and pat. I don't rub it. I pat it. It stops. It prevents it shifting around. But also it's kind of like pushing the inlay down into your layer of paint. And down that edge there. 
So I'm going to go on and do this last one. And the next thing we'll do is we'll, I'll show you them because I've got this piece at different stages. I'll show you the other side and we'll remove them. So depending where you apply your piece and the temperature in the room, these can take up to about an hour to dry, um, sometimes longer. If I do them over in the stable, they take way longer. Um, but these were applied last night and um, they're nice and dry. So again, to get them off, you do the same thing as when you applied them. You pat. Now you can spritz them with water then. There's lots of different ways you can get them off and I'm not saying my way is the right way, it's just the way that works for me and it tends to be that I've never had a problem or an issue with them. Make sure you get down into those edges and dampen the whole piece. should be good and then you just gently sometimes they need a little bit of coaxing and there you are gently when you get to the edges and that's how you apply the inlays it is that simple I'll quickly do this one so you can see it done again so using a pattern dabbing and making sure that everywhere because the, the the moisture is what releases your um, inlay so you need to make sure that you know, everywhere is done. If you've still got some dry pieces that still look a bit white when the paper's dried, I would recommend you go back over and make sure that they're wet because if not, your paper isn't ready to come off. And by, normally by the time you've got around the whole thing, it's moist enough that you can pull it off. In that edge down there. And here we go again in the corner pull them gently if they're ripping you need more mo more moisture and don't pull them off too quickly just gently tease them off I think this feels a little bit dry here It's best not to rush this part. Um, you want a nice, clear, crisp um, transfer. It's best not to rush it. Just take your time and you'll find you the results are good. There we have it. Now, what I've done here is with the ones that I took off yesterday is I've let them dry out and I've put them pack back in the packet because you can use these again. So that's what I've done. So I'll let these ones dry and put these ones away again. So now we're going to move on to the exciting part. But before we do that, you have to wait till this dries off a bit. And then what I've done is I've applied lacquer, any sort of sealer to them because when we go to paint in these sections, the paint isn't set, it's still live. So when you add water and paint, it'll start to blur the lines and we're looking for something quite crisp. So what I've done with the sections around the front is I've applied lacquer sealer to them so that I'm, ab I'm able to paint them. So let's get on to what I did next. So the next thing you need are a couple of fine artist brushes, some water and the colors of paint that you want to paint your inlay. So I'm going to start with these sort of the pink, I think. So I'm probably going to do here. And then what you're doing is you're literally just painting it all in. Now, 
know, I don't intend to paint the whole thing. I just intend to do little pops of colour of this pink and a green. I may add another colour. But, um, and I'm kind of doing it in a sort of painterly sort of style. You don't have to be perfect. You, because I've sealed this, you could um, do it with, um, you could paint it with um, a water, like sort of watercolory style. So now I'm going to go in with my green and do maybe some green on here. A bit of water. And you can paint these with any colour, any kind of paint you want. Been sealed, so it doesn't matter if you don't quite get in the lines. And I'm not looking for, um, I'm looking for that sort of kind of paint at least, so I'm not too bothered. I just kind of add in more colours, and I think maybe what I might do, I think the third colour. Now looking at it, that I might add is maybe a sort of like a turquoisey green, maybe. And I'm just going to go round this whole, the whole dresser now, and just pick out pieces that I want to paint. As you can see, I'm just doing a sort of kind of like, I'm not filling the whole thing in. I'm just giving a suggestion, a colour. So I'm going to go on and I'm going to do a bit more and then we'll come back and I'll show you some more once I've got a little bit more painted. Okay, so what I've done is I've worked my way around the whole piece painting in the colours where I want it to be. Now what I've done is I've added a sort of turquoisey green and a burgundy colour just to add a little bit more interest and all I've done is I've just loosely with watered down um, chalk paint I've just loosely painted them in. You can work with them because we've sealed them um, and I've done all the panels and I've got this one left to paint in and I haven't taken huge amounts of care. I mean I just just kind of the suggestion of where each bit of the flower is and I've just painted around them. It's really simple, you just need a really fine brush for this. Um, now, because I like a bohemian finish and I'm, I do state, I make statement furniture, this look could be easily achieved using lighter colours, pastels, you could put some whites, some creams, the piece of furniture could be quite understated it, this is just what I'm choosing to do but it's just to show you another way that you can use the inlays so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you the whole piece finished so here I am giving you some close-up shots of the finished piece and each panel that I painted you saw me apply the inlays you saw me paint it in I just used chalk paint but I remembered to seal the inlays before I painted them if not your inlays will move that's really important because there's still live paint at that point you could choose different colors you could use a different color for the main piece I painted this with an IOD blade which gave it that finish of the kind of distressed look that I was looking for so I hope that you know this has inspired you to to go ahead and have a crack at this So thanks for watching this tutorial today. I hope that it's inspired you to think about things that you can do with your inlays and different ways you can use them. As I've shown you, they're really simple and easy to use. And um, if you've enjoyed this, please um, consider subscribing and push the bell um, so that you're notified when um, we release a new video. And thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.